right, today we're going to talk about a basic recipe for a milk and honey bath. You've probably heard about the amazing benefits from moisturizing your skin and detoxing and soothing your skin. So the basic milk and honey bath has one cup of milk, half a cup of honey, four tablespoons of spices, and 15 to 20 drops of essential oil, plus you can add dried flowers. Sounds simple. So first let's talk about the milk. Now, the person who discovered how awesome it is to bathe in milk is Cleopatra VII. She was the last dynastic pharaoh, but she was the first influencer, if you ask me. She found out that sour donkey milk produces lactic acid, which is exfoliating on the skin. Now, you probably don't want to go bathe in sour donkey milk like Cleopatra did, but you can find lactic acid producing milks if you just use simple cow's milk, one cup of this, or if you're vegan or you don't want to use cow's milk, try oat milk. You can use some coconut milks, but don't use the coconut milk that comes in a can. Sounds simple, use half a cup of honey, but what kind of honey are you going to use? The darker honeys have more antioxidants and healing pro properties because they're less processed. There are 300 different varieties of honey and they're each named for the type of flower. So right here I have wildflower honey from where I live in Texas. It's a local brand. Um, but there are hundreds of different flowers that you can get honey from. This is one of the best honeys because it has some actual honeycomb still left in it and so you can imagine how good that is for exfoliation. To learn more about all the different kinds of honeys and which might be best for your milk and honey bath, head over to bathcover.com slash milk and honey bath and you can learn a whole lot more about the types of honeys. Next you're going to want to put in four tablespoons of dried herbs and there are so many different ones to choose from. Just hit up your pantry. You could get cinnamon, which increases circulation. And so this is a great choice for improving the softness of your skin. You might also try turmeric, which is antibacterial, or fennel, which can soothe irritation. You're gonna to wanna to grind the fennel before you add it. But there are so many other great um, additives from your kitchen that you can use. Did you know that orange peel has soothing, calming properties? So to peel off some orange peel in ribbons and drop it into your tub. Or if you're looking to energize yourself, try some lemon peel. Plus it smells so good. Now you're gonna also want to use 15 to 20 drops of an essential oil. And of course, there are lots of choices for that. So we get into the details over at bathpepper.com slash milk and honey bath. But right now I'll just show you two of my absolute favorites, lavender, which of course, you know, can see the headache with one whip. And research shows that it has lots of calming properties. And also, there's Delaney Lane, which smells like you're in a tropical rainforest with flowers everywhere, but research also shows that it reduces your heart rate. So these are two of my favorites. And finally, just for some like added pizzazz, you can take some of your favorite dried flowers and drop those across the surface of your tub as well. You're gonna to wanna to soak in your milk and honey bath for 20 minutes so that you can really get the full benefits into your skin and feel like a queen, just like Cleopatra. If you wanna find my favorite milk and honey bath recipe, after I've experimented with lots of different combinations, go over to bathtubber.com slash milk and honey bath and you'll find the recipe there. Thanks for joining me today.